welcome 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 back to my channel today i want to show you how to make a fabulous stew conch i do have a video up that was several years ago but i'm gonna show you how you can make it a different way it's very simple nothing to it um i cleaned my conch off as you can see we have some um, little slits in it that's from the tenderizer machine at the uh, fish market okay and if you don't have a tenderizer machine what you can use is a mallet okay this is what a kitchen hammer or a mallet looks like all right so you would use this side here and then you just kind of pound on it just to tenderize it a little bit all right so now to my clean conch i don't have any lemon in here I just clean it under cold water, not hot water, cold water, okay? So I'm gonna add some of my ippies. And then you're gonna just move this around. Make sure you get the ippies everywhere. And my ippies is nice and flavorful. So this is all I'm gonna add right now so i'm not going to add any lemon fresh lemon juice now but i'll do that a little bit later once it begins to soften a little bit then i'm gonna go ahead and do that okay all right so now we're gonna allow our conch to marinate see just a little bit okay we're gonna allow it to marinate for maybe 10 minutes um and then i'll come back all right our conch it's ready to be cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and just add my conch to my pot. Make sure I get all my ippies in there. And this is a, um, a heat resistant spatula, so it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on here and I'm just allow, allow it to cook for about a minute or two before I add my water. Our conch has been cooking. I just want to show you for a few minutes. I did not add any liquid to it. It automatically rendered some of the liquid. Now I'm going to add some hot water. Okay, so I'm going to pour in the same bowl that has the, some of my ippies, and you want to cover it. I mean, it may look like a lot of water, but it's not because conch takes a while to cook down. So I'm going to go ahead and re once it comes to the boil, I'm going to reduce my heat to a number two and just allow this to cook until it's nice and tender. And once that happens, I'll come back and show you what I do next. All right, just wanted to show you our conch is cooked, okay? So what you want to do is, you know, cut, see, put your knife through it, see how it's going straight through. So that tells me it's nice and tender. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the liquid. Then I'll come back and show you how we give this a beautiful color. All right, to my pot, I'm going to add some oil. Okay, remember our cock, see, it has absolutely no fat in it. Okay, so I'm adding some oil so we can add some fat to it. And I'm using, that should be enough oil, I'm using um, avocado oil, which you can use olive oil, grapeseed oil, or any oil okay so now what you want to do is use a little bit of tomato paste and then kind of break it down just a little bit and allow the tomato paste to fry inside of your oil because what you're doing is cooking out the rawness of 
your tomato paste because you do not want your sauce to taste like raw tomato paste. Okay, okay. So now I'm just gonna add just a little bit of water, just like that, just to break down my tomato paste so this way we can get this to fry for about two minutes. Okay. Alright, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and take my conch. Just the conch, you don't need the liquid yet. Just gonna move it along inside of your pot like this. Just coat it with the tomato paste. Like that. And I have my stove on medium high because I don't want anything to burn. And we're just gonna allow this to kind of fry in the oil with the tomato paste. And this is how we're gonna get the nice color I'm looking for. So after a few minutes, I'll come back and show you how I continue to color. Okay. Before I start flipping it around, I'm gonna start and just add just a little bit of seasoning. I'm gonna add some seasoning salt, just a little bit. Some garlic powder. If you want, if you eat Maggie, just add a little bit of Maggie. depending on the amount you have. I'm gonna add just a little bit of adobo. And that should be more than enough. We'll taste it in a little bit and adjust. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around. See, it's starting to get a nice color. So we're gonna just kinda rotate it in here like this. And turn my stove up a little bit more from a number five to a number eight. And we gotta watch it closely because I want this to go by quick, okay? And I'm just gonna allow it to continue to color. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of fresh lime. And I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. See how dark that is? You don't want it to continue to go like that because it's gonna burn. So I'm just add just a little bit of water like that. And then we're gonna take our spoon and scrape it. Okay, and then this is creating the browning that you're gonna need. You just put your, um, stir your conch into it. I need just a little bit more water to get that up. Okay. This is what's gonna help it get that nice dark color you're looking for. So I'm gonna continue to do this for about, I would say five minutes, and then I'll show you what else I do. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of more water it's starting to look good okay this is how i brown my meat on one way This looks about good. I'm gonna let it go for maybe like one more minute. Meanwhile, I'm 
meanwhile, I'm going to add some of my Haitian hot sauce. Got to have some. Oh, I don't want it too spicy. That should be good. I'm going to mix that up a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. Can you believe this is all... Thirty-seven gives you thirty-seven dollars. It's a shame how stuff is so expensive. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my onions and bell peppers, and I'll be right back. All right, now I'm gonna add my bell pepper, onions. I have some parsley and some fresh thyme, like that. On the side, I'm going to pour in the liquid that my conch was boiling in. This is where you're going to get all, yeah, I'm not letting none of this go to waste. I'm going to put all of it in there. I'm gonna go just lightly, let me turn my stove back on high. And I'm just gonna lightly scrape the bottom so we can make sure we get all that nice color up. Okay, so I'm gonna cover it and we're gonna allow this to cook for maybe two more minutes. Conk is already cooked, but we want to make sure all the flavors marry. And I'm going to give it one more taste because I want to make sure it has enough heat. I want to make sure it has enough flavor. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous, guys. It's tasty. The heat is nice. It's not overpowering. Excellent. So we're going to cover this. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn my stove to a number two. We're going to allow this to cook, like I said, for two minutes, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, here's our fabulous, fabulous stew. Cook. It is absolutely tasty, guys. It is amazing. It still has a nice taste of the conch. It is nice and tender when you bite into it. Must try recipe. I'm going to enjoy it with some white rice and some puree bean. We call it sauce bois. Until next time, like, comment, do not forget to subscribe. Delicious.